On the 24th of January 1948, a female concentration camp guard, who worked inside the Delhi's camp of the Second World War, was brought to a Polish prison's execution chamber for her date with the executioner. She had been condemned for being a terrifying and barbaric guard who worked inside of Auschwitz, and she worked alongside a number of other women such as Irma Grazer, Elizabeth Volkerath and Johanna Bormann, who was known as a woman with the dog, which was encouraged to savage and attack inmates. Therese Brandel was 45 years old when she went to the gallows for her crimes, and she was different to many other executed female guards, as she was older and had not been part of the Nazi youth groups for years before she became part of the SS. Welcome to the Untold Past. Today we look at the execution of Therese Brandel, and to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Therese Brandel was born on the 1st of February 1902, inside of Stadak, Engendacht. She was a member of the Nazi party, and joined the group like so many people did, with the rise of Adolf Hitler in Germany. Hitler promised to restore national pride across the nation following the defeat of the First World War, and he also promised to create more opportunities for people who were suffering following economic turmoil. But Brandel was from Bavaria, where the Nazi party tried to initially take control during the Munich Putsch. However, when the Second World War broke out, the Nazis began to open up concentration camps within occupied lands to go alongside the camps they'd created inside of Germany. Sites such as Dachau and Oranienburg opened earlier, but one of the largest female camps opened was Ravensbrück, found close to Berlin. It was here where many women were trained to become Alpsarins or female concentration camp guards, and Therese Brandel was sent to go and work here in March 1940, where she then began her training period. Inside of Ravensbrück she was taught how to brutally oversee prisoners and women, and how to strike fear into their hearts and terrorise them. She was taught by other women such as Maria Mandel, a female guard who was very senior and was later executed for her crimes alongside Therese Brandel. Mandel taught classes and Brandel was a student and Mandel instructed other women on how to brutalise inmates and how to carry out beatings to make prisoners very feared of the guards. However, Therese Brandel following her training period was then promoted to the position of Rapport Auf Sarin inside of Ravensbrück and she was the guard who regularly counted the women prisoners at roll call and this was very important. It was here where the SS found out usually if someone had escaped, and if this occurred then usually a whole prisoner block would be punished, and many women could be executed for one prisoner being unaccounted for. Many people inside other concentration camps were hanged on gallows for escapees who were part of their block, and this was done in front of all of the other prisoners, to add to the fear. Therese Brandel was also responsible at roll call for administering punishment to women who had broken the rules, and she would lead them to the whipping posts, where she then lashed them with her weapon. In May 1940, the brutal female guard was moved to Auschwitz, a rapidly expanding site in Poland, which became the deadliest concentration camp of the Second World War and the Third Reich. When Auschwitz opened, Commandant Rudolf Hess dreamed of developing a camp which became known for its ruthless slaughter, and he was obsessed with executing and exterminating as many people as quickly as possible. It was Hearst who himself tested the use of poison gas and a pesticide known as Zyklon B, which became used across most of the camps to kill millions of people. When the camp first opened, there were a small number of guards who worked at Auschwitz, but as the camp expanded, many more guards, including women, were summoned from other sites to go and work inside of Auschwitz. The three different areas all needed overseeing, as did the women's camp that was then opened later. The conditions were horrific and were savage as inmates were forced to work incredibly hard and they were given little food, but many people were slaughtered as soon as they arrived at the camp as they were selected to go to the gas chambers. Therese Brandel arrived at Auschwitz in March 1942 and she worked inside of the Auschwitz one main camp to begin with. Specifically, she conducted duties inside of the laundrette and she was promoted a number of times and became a first guard or an erst auf Serin and she was a very senior guard inside of Auschwitz. Brandel was shockingly even awarded a medal from Adolf Hitler for her services and work inside of Auschwitz, but of course she was causing death and destruction. Inside of the camp she was known for her evil, and she was involved in the murder of women and children prisoners, and also a huge amount of assault and abuse. Brandel was associated with other female guards such as Irma Grazer, and she beat and whipped prisoners for practically no reason, 
but within the women's camp she continued to beat and violently attack the female prisoners, as well as youngsters. Brandel brutalised children, and one witness at her later war crimes trial stated, Whilst in the camp, Dr Mengele took my blood many times. In November 1944, all children were transferred to Camp A, the Gypsy Camp. When they counted as one was missing, so Mandel, manageress of the women's camp, and her assistant, Therese Brandel, drove us out into the street at one in the morning, and made us stand there in the frost until noon the next day. Many children may have died in this action because of the immense cold and from hypothermia. Therese Brandel was also involved in the selection processes inside of Auschwitz. When new prisoners arrived at Auschwitz, they disembarked from the trains and they were then sorted by the SS guards and officials, who decided if they would live and if they would die. Those who were fit enough to work were sent into Auschwitz to do this, but as soon as they got there many elderly prisoners, as well as mothers and their children, were sent to the gas chambers. Therese Brandel was witnessed working inside the selection yards doing this, and she also helped drive these inmates to their extermination in the gas chambers. Therese Brandel worked at Auschwitz until November 1944, which was then transferred to Muldorf concentration camp, as the Red Army were moving towards Auschwitz, and in the months after they would liberate the camp. Muldorf was a subcamp of Auschwitz, and the conditions here were awful, and the SS guards continued to send prisoners from here to Auschwitz to be killed. She stayed at Muldorf until the end of the war, but during a death march, Brandel tried to flee and escape any form of punishment, and she did evade arrest for some months, but was seized on the 29th of August 1945. She was held inside of a holding camp, and her identity was then revealed, and with this she was then sent to Poland to stand as a defendant in the Auschwitz trials that took place in Krakow. She stood alongside former Commandant Arthur Lieber Henschel, who she served under, as well as her long-standing mentor, Maria Mandel. The defendants were those men and women who worked inside of the deadliest site, and they worked in different roles, but much evidence was heard in the courtroom about Therese Brandel's work. It was claimed that she was a psychopath, and a very dangerous woman who inflicted suffering on prisoners every single day, and it was discovered that she had sent many women to their deaths within the gas chambers during the selections, and it was ultimately this, as well as her violent tendencies, that led to her being sentenced to death. She was then sent to Montelupich prison inside of Krakow to await her execution, and she had to wait just over a month for this. Appeals for clemency were rejected, and Therese Brandel was summoned from her prison cell, and she was informed that her execution was to take place now. She was led alongside Maria Mandel, her friend, into the execution chamber, and on the ceiling of this room was a number of hooks which nooses were attached to. Stools were also underneath these, and throughout the day there would be dozens of former guards of Auschwitz executed in that very chamber. As was courteous, the women guards were executed first, and Maria Mandel and Therese Brandel were at 7.09am led into the execution chamber, and Brandel was helped onto a step, and her arms had been tied behind her back. An executioner then placed a noose around her neck, and he quickly kicked out the step, and with this Brandel was left hanging, and she slowly strangled to death, and it took around 15 minutes for her to be confirmed dead. Therese Brandel was a notorious and brutal concentration camp guard, who became known for her brutality and barbarism. Her actions led to the slaughter of thousands of people, and she was regularly seen driving prisoners towards the gas chambers. She is not as well known as other female guards, such as Irma Grazer, but she was known inside the camp for her evil and sadism, and Brandel was happy to carry out punishments and torture inside of the deadliest concentration camp of the Second World War. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.